uh, we're PS Guides. Our goal is to bring you know the gaming community together with reviews, guides, news, and clutch plays. In addition, we talk about our juicy rumors, controversies, random topics of discussion. Uh, you'll hear some some, some uh, facts, some opinions, a lot of lame jokes. If you if you like us, uh, what we do here, be sure to check us out on fpsguides.com on our social medias. Uh, we stream this podcast live every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard uh, at Twitch um, Twitch TV FPS Guides. Uh, for all you listeners out there, FPS Guides podcast can be found on Apple iTunes Podcasts, Google. Pl- Google Google Play Music, sorry, <laughs> Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, and also Alexa. So check us out. Um, if you're interested in becoming a part of the SPS Guides community or perhaps becoming a content creator, hit us up on our website because we'd love to hear from you. Um, so think about it. How are you guys doing? How's everyone doing? Uh, doing all right in this, uh, this whatever month we're in. Uh, to be <laughs> isolated from humans, so... <laughs> Doing okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, playing right. Some games, really. What about you guys? Uh, you haven't been. You haven't been playing games. No, I have been. I have been. Oh, okay. All right. What do you? What have you been playing? Uh, Ghost of Tsushima. What have you been on? Like pretty much exclusive. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, only that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah. really good. Um, yeah, I saw you send me some screenshots. They look pretty good. I was like, whoa. Yeah, dude. The photo mode is uh really really wild, um in that game. I sense, yeah, there's some screenshots on the Discord um, that are mm. pretty crazy good. But it's really fun. I'm enjoying it so far. It's not perfect, obviously. Just like my camera right now. But, you know. Oh, God. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, there's some there's some flaws for sure. But overall, it's, uh, really? it's really good. It's hard like, to get down. Like, what do you, wait, flaws? Like, for real flaws? Or, like, mm. it's just hard to play? No, just, just flaws, like... Like, the AI isn't great, you know, so stealth oh. is a little less, um, oh my lord. <laughs> stealth is a little less impactful, I guess, because the AI isn't very smart or, like, aware. So it feels really? like, okay, like, it's it's kind of like Assassin's Creed's AI. It's not, it's not, you know, super great. They're not going to be, like, flanking you or calling your, out, calling your position out or, or anything like that. Is... <laughs> Is this because, like, you've come from The Last of Us and you, like, I you guess wanted that, to see that? That definitely has some impact, but it still could be better. It still could be okay. better. Um, All right. <laughs> the combat, though, itself is, is awesome. It's really fun. Oh, okay. Um, All right. It's, it's pretty difficult when you get into the one-on-one, like, duel situations. Um, like, boss fights or, like, yeah, just it's running it's into a bunch a of people? Boss fight. It's basically a boss fight. Like, it goes into, like, a separate cutscene. And it's really like cinematic and and like intense. Like they're they're like on the other side of a field, staring at each other for like a minute, and you're just like sitting there like, mm. I can't move. Oof. So it's very mm. it's very cool. Um, the, the duels are super super cool. Oh yeah, so, I saw like a lot of people just jump straight into hardcore mode. Did you do that? No, I'm on normal. I did push <laughs> it up to hard for a few, like a duel or two, because I was like, all right, let's see, and yeah. It's um, oh yeah, it's uh, it's pretty tough. The combos are pretty long. Like there's like six or seven hit combos that they do, and you're like, whoa! Like I did mm. not see this coming at all. It's good, Ooh. but it's it's overall good. Uh, so far I'm enjoying it. The world is obviously like ridiculously good looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely see that. Like I literally, like, <laughs> like I said, I feel like everything is literally like a Google Earth like photo being taken like everyone's like everything is literally a photo or like a photo like to be taken like it's all like just super nice like everything's good to look at yeah it, look, it looks pretty cool yeah the photo mode's super sick and uh, yeah i'm enjoying it so far i think uh i think aaron would really like it because like you're, you're you're a samurai dude like you're literally a samurai traveling around mm. little japan just like if anyone challenges me i will destroy them like you just feel mm. very strong but mm. and there's a standoff mechanic where you can just hit up on the D-pad, and you can do yeah, like, uh, like um like a one-on-one kind of. But they'll try yeah. and fake you out. The enemies just won't go all the time. Sometimes they'll try and fake you out like three times, or mm. the stronger enemies, like the enemies you face later, will maybe fake you out and then go for an attack that is something you didn't see. Maybe it's like an overhead attack or a or attack from the ground. So you gotta be pretty aware. It's pretty cool. Mm. Ooh, all right, cool. cool. That's what I've been playing. Sick. 
Right. And well, uh, and uh, one more time, what game was that that uh, you gave your uh, opinions on? Oh, Ghost of Tsushima, the one that came out last Ghost week. Tsushima. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I know uh, Kevin Stiffy got it too, but he hasn't played it. I was like, dude, why haven't you played it yet? And he's like, uh, we've been on. Well, I'll, we'll talk about it later. I guess. Like, what are you? What have you been playing? Um, I actually played a bunch of games this past Ooh. week. I played. Uh, mm -hmm. They're all old games. They're all just uh, Game Pass games. That's but okay. It was, it, was mm -hmm. a, it was a first time, first time for me. Mm -hmm. uh, starting with Fallout seventy six. Oh, you did it! Yeah, uh -oh. I did it. <laughs> all right, how was it? Um, it was. It was great. <laughs> no, it, I was expecting it to be super. You know, it it wasn't great, but it wasn't as bad as I was. You know, hearing on the mm. on on the articles that I've read about and all the reviews on it. Yeah. Uh, well, have you played the other Fallout's though? Have you played? I, any never, I never played oh, any okay. Fallout. You know, honestly, that might uh, that might have helped. So, <laughs> That's probably a good idea, actually. <laughs> that was that probably was my problem. Is I was like, what the hell in Fallout Four? You wouldn't do this. This wouldn't happen in Fallout Three. Uh, this was, I was like, uh, like it was me being a, I guess, holding them to a higher standard. Okay. You know, but I guess yeah, it might be better for you, yeah, to do that that way. Just go into seventy six and then go backwards. You should, try Fallout, you should try Fallout 4 now, <laughs> and then you'll probably be blown away by 4. Like, wow, like, and then New Vegas. the best game I've ever played. <laughs> like, yeah, and, and then go to Fallout New Vegas, and then you'll be like, wow, this is the, the new standard of gaming. <laughs> yeah. That said, like, I, it wasn't that... Uh, it didn't It didn't bite me. It didn't, it didn't really grab me. Like, uh, like mm. But uh, fair, in fairness, I wasn't expecting it to. Mm. The most impressive part of it was creating my character. I've never seen such, uh, uh, what's the word? It, it was a very, very uh, like robust. You really? Man, you can change everything on the nose. You can change everything from the really? bridge to the to the to the the front of the nose to the mm -hmm. width of it, the location. Yeah, yeah. You can do everything with with the face. They yeah. they don't just have eyebrows. They have eyebrow middle, like like here. If you want to give it a unibrow. Yeah. Or out here, and the edges. I mean, talk about detail. Mm -hmm. So when I was doing that, I spent a good hour just, just. Uh, just oh my really god, really I'm the bumping. same way, dude. You are, bro. I'm this dude. I'm so bad. I'm so bad at that. Like, like I, I when I first started playing Monster Hunter, my friends were like, yeah, dude, download it. Yeah, and I know I have a friend who's just. We're literally like the same person when it comes to like video games and like, like comics and like you know movies and stuff. Like I don't know, like entertainment wise, we get entertained by the same thing. And he knew. He's like. Hey dude, you gotta build your character or whatever. So uh, I'm gonna go to the store, and I'll be right back. And I'm like, well, how? I don't know. I'm gonna just make my character. And he's like, listen, we're the same person. I know you. You're gonna be a while, dude. I was there for like 45 minutes, just like 50 minutes, just like going in. He comes back and he's like, so are you done yet? I'm like, no. I was like, let me know what you did. Like I was like, but yeah, I'm like the same way. Yeah, it's so cool like that. Yeah. I was blown away with the, the level of what you can change on the face. You can basically sculpt any face that you want. Um, yeah. It was it was pretty impressive. So uh, th th when I was going with with low expectations, I was like, okay, this is pretty this is pretty cool. And then mm -hmm. I got thrown in the game, and then it just wasn't it just wasn't very enjoyable. The, the character <laughs> movement wasn't very fluid. Um, oh, okay. No, no, it isn't. That's also yeah. That's also the Fallout like play the way that fallout plays um uh, when you play it by yourself when you play fallout 4 i like uh -huh. it like that it's actually really cool like that uh okay. it, it seems like normal you know um you're i mean you're not gonna be like power sliding like apex or anything like that but like when i guess it comes into a, a whole oh, shit. pvp area uh-huh like uh whole pvp okay. area Sorry, you know like really, um something crazy just like that <laughs> okay we're good uh can they still hear us yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, okay. My camera was just like freaked out. My bad. Yeah, when it just goes into a whole PvP area, then it might come a little off as like janky and stuff like that. A little awkward. Did you play it yeah. by yourself though? Yeah, I played by myself. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. It's also so, a friends type game, so you do need like a bit of friends. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I think it would be it would have been fun, fun to play with somebody. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The other game I played this week was uh, mm -hmm. No Man's Sky. Oh, you did! Nice. Yeah. All right. Hard game. Okay. It's 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 one of the games where I, I wish I wasn't in the middle of Borderlands 2 so I could put more more focus on it. Oh yeah. 
It, it's pretty mm. cool, man. And and then when I read about it, basically uh, they said something about uh, the world is procedurally generated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, like, it's not the yeah. same world. Yeah. I was like, what does that mean? I, I'm like, how could they do that? And then when you play it, you're like, okay, I get it. That's pretty crazy. Um, I like it. I, I like the game. I just, I just wish I wasn't, you know, in like knee deep in yeah. in Borderlands <laughs> because now I got to learn a whole new mechanics of another game, and that's a <laughs> yeah. very complicated game too. So. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I I can see with like what you're saying with that. Yeah, um, because No Man's Sky, you really do want to get lost in it. Like you want to get yeah. like, like sucked in. It's, and it does suck you in. Like the more you get sucked in, the more fun you have with it. Mm -hmm. You can't just you know, play a little bit. You can't do like two missions like you can with Bar like Warlands. Like two specific missions. You really got to get lost, and you know, do a bunch of things and stuff. Like just explore a lot. It really does. And it has like whole like worlds or whatever for it and whatnot. Um, was it before or after they did that big old DLC for it, or whatever? Like, uh... uh... Yeah, I don't know. I just, I know that I played it this past week, um, and whatever version is available on Xbox Game Pass. I think you might have played the new one, which might, apparently, makes it a little bit harder. Um, I don't oh, yeah. Know. It was I, pretty I hard. Okay, yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, I'm, but similar both No Man's Sky and Fallout 76... There was just so much to keep track of, in addition to just your health bar, okay? Yeah, there's there's your stamina, there's your radiation, there's your blah blah blah. I, mean, I was like, this is, too, this is too much! This is too much! The, the game is already survival, hard! Yeah, it's a survival like, like, game. <laughs> yeah, it's a survival game. Yeah, uh, I know my, my friends, I'm like, uh, when they tried to get me into it, I didn't get into it because I didn't want to invest into that and whatnot. Uh, so I was like, I was like, guys, you know, what, what's it like? You know, try to sell me on it, basically. I was like, guys, sell me. And they're like, okay, all right, well, so you do this, you do this, it's like this. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm like, well, do you have monsters? Like, what, what's the enemy? Like, what kills you in the game? Let me know what kills you. And they're like, the game kills you. That's what fucking kills you. Like, the game, <laughs> the planet kills you. That's what kills you. I'm yeah. like, what do you mean? And they're like, well, I'm dying right now. I don't have any oxygen. I'm, like, I'm yeah. dying. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? What? And they're like, I can't talk here. I gotta go. I'm like, leave me, give me a minute. And I'm like, what? okay, okay, all right, fine. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that, that's how they are. It's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, that, that's apparently how it is. I I never played it, but I seen people play it, and it looks really cool. Looks really like adventurous type stuff. And yeah, so I mean, I just I generally, I, I mean, generally they're the. Uh, I, I guess it's common knowledge now that I, I'm not I'm not a big FPS I'm I'm, I'm not a big uh, uh, role, uh, strategy what is it no that's not strategy what is this RPG like RPG much? yeah 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 I'm not an RPG fan but it generally is that well received among the those type of uh, video game you know uh, connoisseurs like the harder it is to survive like you gotta you you, you gotta make sure you're fed you gotta make sure you're, you're <laughs> yeah. you got oxygen like its own thing yeah 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 that's i mean it's kind of like what dk says he says he had uh he couldn't have a good time so someone basically held his hand through it and that's really like how yeah, i feel like those kind of games are you do need almost a friend to go through the struggle for you so you can actually just walk in and just enjoy it okay it's one of those type of games i think yeah but, that was it was it was intense i mean they, they mm -hmm. throw you out there in this world and you're like all right um Go figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just like, hey, go have fun, and you're like, what? I mean, what do you mean? Like, but, but yeah. Um, and and then the last game that I played was the Surge Two. Uh, Surge. The Surge. Oh, oh okay. Ah, really? oh, bang. Where's JD? Where's Captain? <laughs> that's a good game. I, bang. That's a game I went in with low expectations, and I ended up playing like an hour and a half, two hours of it before I went to bed. I was like, this is this is pretty fun. It's like you know, just a just a mm -hmm. beat 'em up. But I could, yeah. I can, I don't know how deep it is. I don't know if it will get played out or it gets repetitive after a while. But uh, one and a half hours in, it wasn't repetitive and it was enjoyable. So I like you. What do you think of the combat? Because it's usually a little bit. It's different. It's different combat than most games. Um, I'm not knowledgeable enough using a controller to tell the difference. It, what you want all controller, any game with a controller and. Like melee combat is, it's, it doesn't work with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking up at the ceiling. I'm looking up at the floor. So I can't really give a comment on that. I can really uh, all I can really comment on is did you like the, it? Uh, did you did you like yeah the the, the fun factor was good and it grabbed me and 
you know, I, I would, uh, I'll probably play another hour or two. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, at least you're getting around some games. You're getting around. Nice. Yeah, man. Trying them out, bro. And all these <laughs> games are on Game Pass, y'all. It's free, so. And, and yeah. I don't think I don't think any of them is 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 is, uh, is really uh, not worthy of trying if you haven't tried it. Uh, all three are pretty cool. Yeah, I know. I definitely think like yeah, it, if it's on Game Pass and like it might have gotten like a little bit of flack, like like seventy six did, or if uh-huh. it, even if it like peaks your eye a little bit, like why not try it? Like why? Like I keep saying that all the time. I'm like, dude, why yeah. not? Just do it. Yep. It's basically like it's free. You know, like it's <laughs> it's, it's a free game. Free. Like why not, dude? <laughs> like. The dude, so I that's that's really what sold me on to play seventy six. Like I I had like a lot of backflap like all the backlash and everything like that. And I was like, dude, whatever, I'm gonna try it anyway. Like all my friends are like, don't even do it. I'm like, no, I'm gonna try it. Especially because I had one friend who's like a huge like pioneer of the game, and he like really wanted to, me to play with him. And like also I haven't played a game with him in a while, and it's a Fallout game that I can play with friends. So that's why I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it anyways. But yeah, um, uh, all right, that's cool. Um. Any games you're looking to play? Any games you have downloaded or anything like that you're planning on playing? You haven't uh, finished Borderlands yet. We haven't finished it yet, but we should like like I said, we should be wrapping it up. Like it's strange, yeah. I hardly played any of this past week, and I didn't get to play Valorant with you last weekend, but I did play this week. Oh yeah, fi- yeah, 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 yeah. So I, and I finally, I finally um, climbed up. I wasn't the bottom of the barrel anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I think I was number two. I was number two on 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 my uh, what do you call it? the leaderboard in in, in yeah. my kills and deaths. So, uh, you know what? The game is is the game is cool, but it somehow there's something I can't put my finger on it. There's something about it that feels cheap. Like okay, I think I know. Uh, I'm pretty. I think I might know what it is. It might be just like a little bit too slate, too, um, too slow. You know, it might be like. I don't know about uh, it because the slow is comparable to like CS:GO speed. I don't yeah. know that it's that slow. It it's just slow. feels like it feels like a Chinese company was like, "Yo, CS:GO is sick," but um, I wish we had like cooldown abilities like Overwatch, and they just slapped it on the game. Is what it yeah. feels like. I don't. I can't put my finger on it. But what if, if you go the ahead. shooting, you mean? Do you think it's the shooting, or do you think it's like just the way the game looks? Do you think it's like how synchronized it is, or like the team playing? You don't think it's as team friendly, bro? When here, all right. I don't know what it is, uh, and I think Divine Nonchalance is is is, is putting a. Uh, I think he might be hitting on it because it's low poly with high res textures. Some maybe it's visually, but when I was after I was playing it and I tried to assess w- what my thoughts were on it, yeah. I, I I said this has got to be made by a Chinese company. So I looked up Riot, it is. and it <laughs> says it's LA based. I'm like, yeah. no, it's LA. But then it says Tencent. Yeah, yeah. It, something about it just feels like it's made in China, you know, like. Mm. Riot is a wholly yeah. owned by Tencent, a hundred percent. Did you guys play that uh, that the Chinese version of PUBG? I forgot what it was called. No, I don't think it did. No. Uh... There was a game. No, I'm it not was, even familiar with it. It was a free. It was a. It was a. Oh gosh, I can't believe. Was it Fortnite? Know. It was not. It, it, it's not <laughs> Fortnite. Ah. <laughs> uh, anyway, there there, there was there, there was a game that was basically a copy of PUBG, and uh, it was about ninety percent there. But there's something there's something about it that that it just felt kind of cheap, like it's it's missing polish or something. I think that's what it is with Valorant for me. Was it the game where you have the snowboards and stuff? Yes. Yet, that, can, so that one is that the one okay yeah i remember i remember thinking the exact same thing i was like what is this i was like this game has so much potential but there's something it's missing and right. i can't talk i don't know what it is it's so weird it yes. was so cool like the fact that you could glide your use your glider i don't know if any of you guys know the game i can't remember what it's called uh it's i think it starts with like a v an e i don't know uh yeah we uh it's dude it it I don't know. You have a snowboard. You have a rock climbing kit. You have a glider, and you can glide and snowboard everywhere you want. It's so cool. It's super cool. Like at first, I played the game, wanted to play it serious, and then I was like, you know what? Me, I played with uh, Cat and Stiffy a little bit. We played a little uh-huh. bit, and then uh, we decided, you know, we had we wanted to add a little Fortnite twist to it. So you know, uh-huh. we took the style on people and snowboard into a building, you know, and just like 
shock on some people type stuff, you know? Like, so we tried to do stuff like that, but it just, I think the problem I kind of saw with it was it was cluttered, and then it was really open, and then it would get really cluttered again, and then it would get really open, and then it would get really cluttered again. But then, like, inside the buildings as well, there just wasn't anything. You'd walk into a building, and there'd be, like, a desk, a lamp, maybe a bed. And, like, that was the entire building. (laughs) Like, that was the, I was like, yeah. I feel like they didn't put enough things in here. Like, you know, it was weird. Yes. But yeah, I think I know it exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. The name of the game, for y'all listeners, it's The Ring of Elysium. It's yeah, Ring of Elysium, yeah. It's a free game. game. It's a free game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Deep Poodly mm-hmm. hit it on the, on, the, on, on the mark. Like, there's the, you go into a house, you're expecting it to be, like, fleshed out, but there's just, like, yeah. two items in there. Like, yeah, exactly. I remember yeah. the time... I remember the time um, I was looking for a job. I was in, I was like in my early twenties, and they're like, "Oh, guaranteed! You, here's a job you're gonna make two thousand dollars a week." And I went in for the interview, mm-hmm. and I, I already knew something wasn't mm-hmm. suspect because the table was empty, the office was empty, and the dude had like a basketball. Like, like mm-hmm. that's it. That was it. Was like it looked like a like somebody attempted to make it look like a real office, yeah. but it wasn't a real office. Mm-hmm. And the job that he that they were offering was to go knock on the door to door and sell you know sell, mm-hmm. sell try to sell stuff door to door. So oh, okay, all right, yeah, all right. I they did that. not. Yeah, it was one of those like oh, there's something like oh, like they tried but they didn't really. It, it doesn't feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, like that. You yeah. go into a house and it's empty. You go into an office and it's empty. <laughs> like, so that's it. That's, that's my thoughts with Valorant. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Valorant, it's, uh, eh, I, I get what you're saying, like, it's, it's more, they don't add, like, a lot of stuff yet, it is also, like, brand new, and they're still adding so much stuff, like, every day, like, they, every day they're adding, like, yeah. they're switching things up, which is really cool, um, yeah. and I think they're coming out with the other, char- I don't know, they just announced something else, their other character is supposed to be leaked, or whatever, they did just add, uh, another huge leak just happened that they're supposed to come out with the new, um, the uh, free-for-all deathmatch, um, playing, that's coming out, so another game mode. Uh, but yeah, Valorant is, I don't know, it's pretty cool. I did get to play with one of your, I guess, a couple other people that you know. But uh, the way in Valorant too, sometimes you do, like, just pop off. Like, sometimes you just get all, like, all the kills. Another time you just don't get that many. And, like, you know, it, it really comes down to, like, just, I guess you're, the way you play and on certain maps, like, certain maps, I don't know. Like, I played a game, I'm normally the top frag. I'm normally the top person, like, at the top. And everyone yells at me if I'm not. And, like, I think one of the games I played with, with uh, KC... I, I can't remember. Crazy. Uh, crazy, yeah, crazy, yeah. They I there was literally like their third game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was literally like their third game, and I got no kills, and he got like four or five, and I was like, dude. And it was like yeah. a like a six round game, and I was like, dude, I I'm I don't know, I'm sorry, dude. Like I'm normally, but like the game before, I was making all the callouts, doing everything. I was like, I literally told him, I was like, look, I don't have enough for a gun. Can I just have yours? I'm gonna drop like two, three kills this round. And you could pick up any gun you see, or I'll give you your gun back, whichever. And he's yeah. like, okay. And like, he trusted me. Gives me the gun. I turn the corner, get three kills. I'm like, you want to see any gun you like? Like, let me get... Like, I was like, that's how it is. It's just crazy. Like, it's, it can be like that. But, uh, I'm just going to crank through what games I played, too, just so we can get going. Because I see people are getting irritated. They want the news. They want to hear the... Uh, I just played the Monster Hunter. Uh, I hit the point where it's not as... Gr- we're more grindy now, and... Yeah. Me and, J- me and, like, Catherine have been playing it so much. We've been playing it nonstop. Like, it's it's crazy now. We're really hooked into it. Where oh, before, nice. like, I played with my friends who were higher level, and they were constantly like, don't build anything, don't build any items, don't build anything. Just keep what you got. You can get through it. You can get through it. Like, keep going, keep going. And I like, hit the point where it was, like, getting too hard, and I was like, dude, I'm getting one shot by every monster. Like, can you guys help me? Like, whatever. And they're like, no, no, you can't do anything. And finally, JD's like, dude, let's just build, like, one piece of equipment. Like, let's do it. And it was just a life changer. And, like, then we're like, okay, now we're really in the game. And, like, we're hunting down all these big monsters, doing all these bigger, like, dirt, like, uh, things, um, bigger quests and stuff like that. And, yeah, it's just, it's way, nice. way more fun. It's, like, it's just, it's sick. And you get these sick armor. I literally look like Spawn right now. Like, the, the comic book character. <laughs> and, like, and, uh, yeah, I'm flying through the air with, like, a, a bug that shoots explosive, like, ammo at things. And... Yeah. Like, whenever I hit certain spots, it blows up. So I'm literally, like, spinning through the air, a hurricane with explosions. I'm like... Nice. Dude, it's it's pretty funny. Like, it's it's really cool. And we actually went back yesterday and fought, like, a monster. Two monsters. It was me and him. It was, so basically, it was a 2v2 of me, me and him against two giant monsters that we fought before. 
Like, uh, normally we do a four-on-one type with these monsters, but since we got all our gear back, we're like, yo, let's just see how big we got, like, yeah. from them. And we just, like, beat them in under, okay. like, five minutes. It was just, we brutalized them. Nice. What, just, um, just, just for my own reference, I know the viewers don't care, but what level are you guys now so that I know when I can play with y'all? Oh, uh, you can play with us, like, whenever. It doesn't matter. We can go in and help you and just, like, carry you through things, whatnot. We can, we'll, it'll be, it'll be totally fine. Like, okay. um, there's just some missions that we can do that you can't yet. Like, you're well, really y'all if you, if, you, if you also play Monster Hunter World and you want to play with Deep Poodley and Captain, just hit us up on the Discord. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, we'd love to play with you. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, you can just go in whenever and, like, we'll play with you guys. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, uh, then, of course, I play the Valorant every now and then. That's about, uh, and then my check-ins with Smite. <laughs> that's, that's really about it. Other than that, I haven't been doing much, much else. Um, but, uh, I guess, yeah, we'll get another news for you guys, all right? That's all. Oh. Uh, the Xbox Showcase. Like, I know that's it. This is what we've been showing for a bit here. The Xbox Showcase videos. Um, going on. I could probably start it over to talk about the stuff as we go. Because as people are coming um, out in the chat, that it's probably better to do that. Um, <laughs> you want to start all over instead. again? Okay. Well, I mean, I was just going to talk about... Oh, yeah, I guess start it all over if you want. I mean, um, I do know that the Xbox... Uh, yeah, the showcase was yesterday. I don't know if anyone saw it. Like, I mean, I'm sure everyone here saw it. Uh, they revealed... Um, Shout out to the chat. I'm... We're we're trying to get better here. I'm I'm trying to work with this right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, the so yeah, the videos go a little bit too quick. So I mean, yeah, I guess just keep it playing in the background. We'll like keep it going whenever. We'll talk like it'll come up when it comes up. Um, but yeah, they uh they revealed a lot of like a lot of exclusives for Xbox, which is crazy. Uh, like originally they had nothing planned. At least there was nothing on the like the radar or anything, and then they yeah, just came out. Yeah. And they did all these. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, they did announce, like, a bunch of large DLCs, like, not just regular DLCs, these are, like, pretty big DLCs for games that they already have out. Um, and then they also showcased, um, a bunch of, like, uh, PC and Xbox exclusives that are just gonna be coming to those. And, yeah, I mean, a lot of them are gonna be launched, um, hmm. uh, as they're gonna be out with, with console launch, so that's, okay. like, really cool. Like, originally, like, none of this was planned, and I guess now they just changed their mind. I don't know if they're pushing the agenda, or I don't know if, like, they just never said anything before and now they are like it's i don't know it's weird but it's, i mean it's good it's good for them it's really good like it's something that we wanted to see for a while we wanted to see some, them do something here yep mm -hmm. Finally. but um there was also like one thing that kind of made me upset like a little bit is i watched the show but there was a pre-show like and they have the cat the t like the timer it's like oh you have like an hour until this thing comes out right you have an hour to like you know we're gonna do the video and i guess at the 30 minute mark, 30 minutes till, they started doing like, showing other like games and stuff like that. They started showing like, like a bunch of uh, the tech or whatever they've been talking about their Xbox and stuff like that. They talked about the game companies that they've been working with. And then they really, they showed two other games that like look pretty cool and like, um, that they uh, didn't even like mm -hmm. talk about in the show. Uh, the uh, Exo Mechanica and like the Echo Generations. Like those are both cool. I know the, the Exo, Exo, uh, Mecha or whatever? The Exo Mecha, sorry, I said it wrong. The Exo Mecha, like, looked like it was, like, a Destiny mixed with, like, Transformers. Like, you have, like, machine guns, you have, like, uh, jetpack kind of things, you know, you're jumping super high in the air, you're, like, this super strong dude, like, Halo, like, uh, Master Chief, and you're fighting, like, these, uh, like, Transformer things, like, they, like, almost, like, Zero Horizon type monsters, you know? Or Horizon Zero monsters, you know? It's, like, it looks awesome. really sick. Like you're just yeah. hunting these things down. I mean, I did. They didn't show much. They showed the gameplay of it. They didn't show like a cinematic or anything. They showed like the actual gameplay of it. And it looks like pretty good. I didn't really get to see much of it because, like, like I said, I skipped through it and like I just wanted to make sure I just you know skip through it to see like what I missed through the pre-show. And I didn't really watch everything from it. I didn't watch the pre-show either. Yeah. Uh. Like and yeah, nobody really watched the pre-show. Everyone just wanted to wait for the thing to come out finally. Um. But uh, yeah, I mean they did uh, the bunch of the games. So I'm just gonna run through the games that they announced: the Halo Infinite, uh, the Fable, uh, the State of K3, Avowed, Outer the Outer Worlds, uh, the Peril of Gorgon, which is just a DLC. It's like a larger DLC apparently. Avowed, um, oh sorry, the and Everwild, Stalker 2, Forza Horizon Motorsports, uh, Tell Me Why, 
Psychonauts, Psychonauts 2, I mean, um, Des- another Destiny 2 large DLC, the one that they pushed back, uh, Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide, uh, the Tetris Effect Connect, the Gunk, the Medium, uh, n- New Genesis uh, Fantasy Star Online 2, Crossfire X, uh, As Dust Falls, and uh, Ballad in Wonderland, I guess, those were uh, really all the games that they announced. <laughs> Uh, some of them, uh, some of the games are going to be exclusives. Uh, or some of the games are going to be exclusive on launch. Um, some of them aren't. Uh, some of them are going to be till 2021, but most of them are going to be coming out this year, later this year. Um, uh, well, so wait, which one of you guys did watch it? Which one of you guys didn't? I did. I saw it. it. All of you saw it. Mm-hmm. What did you guys think as a total whole? I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was just pretty cool. I thought it was pretty hype. I thought it was like really like. Probably the best showcase they've ever done. Uh, I agree with that. Probably, the arguably one of the best showcases, like, in a while. Just because it was all games. It wasn't like... Makes sense. Yeah. Like, just because yeah, it was all games, it was all, like, and, like, uh, just the studios working together and everything. They didn't talk about really their console. Apparently they did in the pre-show. Like, and they didn't really, like, you know say like oh we're this we're having this this is our console this is our controllers look at our controllers can do this it was just games like just here's another game here's another game here this is an exclusive this is another exclusive you want an exclusive where do you want it here it's on game pass like check under your kids check under your chairs <laughs> there's another game it's on game pass like you know <laughs> look at your screen now look down now look back at your screen it's an exclusive <laughs> like you know it's like they're like literally i felt like that's how it was the whole time you guys want more games well, here you go. You can have them anywhere. It's on Game Pass again, too. You have Ultimate? Congratulations, you get it early. Like, that's why it's like, dude, what? And, like, that's how, that's how I took out it, on it. Um, uh, I thought it was um, good overall. Maybe, I don't know, I thought it was slightly... I know I'm going to get crap for this in the chat, but, like, I thought it was slightly, <laughs> uh, slightly weak because they're mm. indie games that they showed and they're other non, like, big hitters didn't look as interesting to me personally i mean that's just a personal thing like if it looks good to oh, you, true. it looks good to you so yeah but i didn't think I'm, they looked as interesting uh to me i think one of the one of the things is too is like probably they didn't make it like so super intriguing for you and is like i mean this is just a guess here i mean i could be totally wrong it's like state of decay 3 stalker 2 yeah. psychonauts 2 destiny 2 uh warhammer if you've played warhammers whatever you know the genesis 2 like these are all games that like you had to play the previous ones in order to like enjoy like true it like for me state of decay 3 just the video itself was like the second thing that showed up and like after i saw that i lost it i was like holy shit like this is it <laughs> like if anyone knows me and captain stiffy were on that game like non-stop we played it so many times we played had i had to play four or five run-throughs and it's just like i loved the game like it was amazing that's a cool game well, I, I I'd like love it. And the fact that they just announced it, I was like, dude, yes! <laughs> that finally! is actually the next thing they show after this, but I guess we should talk about Halo a little bit since it's the one that's, uh, you know, the big hitter that everyone. I feel like we have to, yeah, we have to talk about freaking Halo. <laughs> we like, whether you want to or not, because, I mean. Uh, <laughs> this is a, uh, this is live gameplay, or not live gameplay, hold crap, that'd be so wrong. This is a gameplay uh, demo that they showed at the show. Yep, uh, right here, yeah. And, um,. What were you guys' thoughts on this when you saw it? Were you just like, "Oh man, this is this is what I wanted," or it's like, "Ah, eh, maybe it looks a little, some of the same." I didn't. I wanted more yeah. innovation. Like, what, what were you? Or what like, were your what thoughts did, on it? Yes, yeah, like, mm-hmm. wait, wait. If you want to go with your thoughts first on it, and then I'll, I'm gonna go. Um, I played Halo. The last time I played Halo was on mm-hmm. uh, the the OG Xbox, but before Xbox 360. Yeah. Okay, that so was like the, the, the Xbox or Halo One, dude. The Duke controller. Yeah, the original, the original Xbox is when I played Halo, and I played it because uh, Division Matrix. Uh, I don't, I, he hasn't been on the chat today, but if he's out there, thank he out. He put me on it, and we would, we would usually play Halo when we're drinking. So we drink and we just do couch co-op, and I liked it. And l- th- with what they showed yesterday, it, it, I don't really anything. I didn't see anything really new. Um, There's a grappling hook. That's new. It looks good. You can run. You can it sprint. That's relatively new. It looks good and it looks fun. Uh, but as far as anything mind blowing, I don't have the eye to see anything that was revolutionary or mind blowing to me. But it looks like something I, I would want to play. I definitely I could drive with that. 
Okay, cool. I mean, I, I only played... I don't have a very storied history with Halo. I played the first one, and I didn't have an Xbox, so I didn't really... I didn't play the other ones, but... This one looks cool, man. And plus, like like Danny said earlier, it's coming to Game Pass. Like, you can just get it immediately that's as soon as it drops, yeah, that's, which is wild. That's mind-blowing. I, Yeah. I mean, well, a lot of money... Okay, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, can you hear the game itself? Where I mean, you're not supposed to hear no, the game. No. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're not supposed to be able to hear the the game. Is uh, sorry about that. Um, I can do that if possible for next time. I don't know how that would work though with I, us talking I don't, and having the game. Um, volume normally on. we don't we don't like to have any music on there because we do get hit with copyright type stuff. Um, at that point. So, oh, yeah, uh, sorry, yeah. I definitely have been doing that because uh, yeah. when I look through I mean, the that's history why... of our videos, it's like copyright, copyright, copyright like, oh my yeah. gosh. Like... <laughs> yeah, we can't play, like, we're not supposed to play full, you know, videos and stuff like that, but we do, and because it's, like, smaller, we get kind of get away with it, you know? It's, like, it's not the full screen video of it, and, like, because we don't have sound, we really don't get caught with it all the time, but, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, uh, sorry, Divine Nonchalant, but, yeah, we, we probably can't really do that. It's either one or the other. We can show like I think like ten seconds. Can be played um, commentary. Yeah. yeah, I think that's. Uh, cool. I'm not sure. That yeah, you can, I can, but like they also slap us with it if they can hear some of the tones and stuff. Like if they do hear like the Halo theme song and we're not loud enough over it, they'll slap us with it, and we kind of don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not super sure. So we'll we'll look into that more. Um, but that's something. I that... think. I'm, that's what I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'll bet you a pizza on it. <laughs> I'll bet you stand. Yeah, two topping pizza, Domino's only. If you want it, you can try it for I'll take a bit on it. We'll, we'll look into it though, all right? But um, yeah. <laughs> you are wrong. I will explain it. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. We'll see. We'll come. Well, hopefully, we'll be ready like next podcast for the information or whatever. If you can send us a link in the Discord or something. If you're not in Discord, on us. <laughs> Join the Discord, and we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll talk it out. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know uh, what? Uh, for Divine Nonchalance and Decaz, um, when, we're not, when we're not working from home, uh, when we're back in the office, we, we, we do have a studio, and we've got a green screen in the background that we use as a monitor. We don't just have a video playing. We actually, it's, it's set up um, where it just shows like a, a, an internet browser. So as we're talking about a topic, we'll put up on screen exactly what we're talking about. So we apologize for not being set up properly because we're trying to we're trying to you know make shift and do the best as we can from home so but it, we'll, we'll try to get better we'll try to get better keep keep up the the constructive criticism you know help us help yeah, us get yeah, good help us get good yeah. <laughs> oh my god GD. uh well uh i one my take on this i guess is um it's i'm gonna say some good and some bad okay because that's you can't I'm gonna I'm gonna be straightforward with it. Like I do like Halo. Like I love I like Halo. The past couple of Halos have been like not my not my cup of tea. The way that they've been doing it, it's just not it. OD, ODST, no. Like Halo Five was all right, it's good, you know. Uh, to me, the game died at Halo Three, but I feel like this brought it back to that Halo Three, and it looks really good. Um, I don't really get the whole storyline with this dude. I don't know who this other the other guy is. I don't know I don't if you know, can see right now. Vanished and some other race of aliens that i don't know anything about because yeah. i didn't mm. play any of the games except one so yeah this this is apparently a whole new it. yeah this, apparently this is a whole new like race of people and stuff that, that took out i didn't see i didn't play four which is my issue like i played some of four i didn't finish it so i didn't see how they lost the fight and stuff like that um yeah i agree to die after three yeah uh but i mean dude it's so i'm not I don't know. So I guess I might have to play four or just read up about it. I don't know. But I might play get. I'm gonna try. I'm totally gonna get this one because. Um, oh my god! I totally forgot about Reach. Holy crap! Reach two was bad. Yeah. Damn. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I do like this one because it does go back to like that Halo three style. It looks like Halo. It bit, this is where I'm gonna say good and bad right here. Like this, it looks like Halo three. So when I say it looks like Halo three, I mean. It looks like everything about it, like the scenery and everything, the like um, the trees, everything looks like the same as Halo 3. The guns look the same as Halo 3. It looks like Halo 3. And when I say it looks like Halo 3 as well, I mean the graphics look like mm -hmm. Halo 3 graphics. Well, like they I mean, don't. They were. It's... It was on a 1080p like stream. You know, it's on a stream, so you can I watch actually the watched video the 4K there. one. Okay. I actually watched the 4K one, and like even then, it was still like ah, uh, 
but like what I do like is that it, they took an artsy style for it though. They like they took more of an artsy style with it. Like they didn't make it so you could see everyone's sweat glands, you know? Like which I don't mind that. Like I matter I care more about like the art style of it, like how like each thing looks more like rather than like it's uh Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I talked to I said yeah, uh I didn't play 5. I forgot about 5. Um but yeah, they didn't they didn't add like, you know, intense graphics, but they did make it like more appealing, I feel like. Um and one the other thing that I saw a lot too, you didn't see a lot of glimmer and stuff like that from the water. You didn't see a lot of like ray tracing type stuff, you know? You well, didn't see no, that stuff. They did update that. They're not going to have ray tracing is going to come after launch, which is a little weird in my opinion. Yeah. So that I, well, yeah, I mean, this is what I'm saying like the good and the bad. Like so I mean, this the bad is I did this is what I didn't see and stuff. So it's definitely coming to that. Like it's just like it's a, uh, I don't know. That looks sketchy, but still the gameplay of it um, looked really well. Like the fact that you have like a little grappling hook, I feel like it's an extra gear and a, an extra item that you can have more fun with. Which is what I love about like the Halo Three franchise or you know game is you can have more fun. Like it was way more fun than it was like uh, fun wise is what what like really kept people in. And I feel like that is a whole new mechanic it. I can't that people can just the video. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's one video. I'm sorry. Yeah. it's one really long video. It's I mean, one, if we yeah. could, we could try and find like. The Xbox, the, the I can, I can Halo that. one, on. I can the Halo that. exclusive one. I can do that. Uh, uh, but yeah, like you can see that they um, uh, like have that grappling hook thing, which looks like it's way more fun. Like it's way cooler. Like you have way like more stupid stuff that you can do with it. Like you saw the guy. Uh, I'll see if we can pull it up. Like because they have it a couple yeah, I'm gonna, times. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm like, gonna get it right now. Yeah, where people like pulled like would use the grappling hook to pull in that the explosive barrel thing and just throw it at people. And uh, there's a couple little snippets that I saw that I don't think anyone else really saw, and it was um, that you can power slide, uh, which looked you pretty can. cool. You couldn't, really? of course, get you I know, did not know that. yeah, you can power slide, but it's not no apex power slide where you know you I power mean, slide for like <laughs> two miles. You power slide like a normal human being would, but you jump at you know an alien type spit jumping thing. Um, one of the other things too that I saw is that normally they throw like a lot of grenades and I don't know if you remember in like the Halo 3 where they had those skull things where people would throw grenades like they had like it was no nobody's business uh there was that skull perk thing that you could turn on where like they just kept like throwing all the grenades and stuff like that well now I, I saw them throw one of the grunts like they threw one of the grunts holding the grenades Let's before they used to run at you and kamikaze you and no, now like they just there. throw the kamikaze guys at you so it was like dude that's sick <laughs> like that's funny um and I do feel like uh, one of the other things as well is you. I don't know if you can see. Um, I would say like a minute after this this video starts, uh, when he goes up the ramp uh, against those one of the brute guys that you see, um, he shoots him in the legs. Like he, I don't know if you can probably pause it or slow it down or whatever to the point when it gets there. But he gets yeah, in the wall, yeah. gets off, and like when they come down on the elevator thing, he shoots the guys in the legs, and the guys stagger. Yeah, they, they like, don't. That, yeah, yeah they that. staggered. People looked right over that, and I was like, "Are you kidding me, guys? Like, what? Am I the only one that saw that? That's sick. Like, that's cool. Like, that's that's why I think is really great too. Um, and a little redesign that they did to the Warhog, I think that that was really great too. Like, it's and it sounds a little bit better. It doesn't sound like a space vehicle. It sounds more like an actual just you know vehicle itself. And they did bring back the drifting stuff, so you can't just be stupid with it. Like, you know, like right? Yeah, like I don't know if you guys saw that one, but yeah, you can just do that drifting stuff. So it looks like just about like. What Halo should be, and uh, what about what do you guys think about the open world? I don't, well, I guess you guys didn't play the other. Oh, like Halos, semi open world, I guess. If you want yeah. to call it that, it's like here is an There's area th that you can explore, and then we will go from this area to the next area. Not so much. Yeah, like, there's one giant thing. I have the sound on on this one. I don't know if you guys can uh, hear mm. it, but it's there. So mm. hopefully. We don't get in trouble. We'll just keep talking continuously. Yeah, okay. Um, and also, yeah, I guess, uh, it, also, the, they had a little, a little bit of revamp on the guns, so the guns look, look a lot better, um, but they do stay, like, with the Halo theme and stuff, so I really feel like it's hard to keep the Halo theme with that, and, like, keep the Halo theme, theme from, like, ten years ago, but still, like, you know, make right it here, good as well. We're coming up on that part, and that, yeah. was the one, that, was the, that was one of the few things that I didn't pick up on, where he shot him yeah. in the foot, and the dude, like, mm -hmm. tripped. I was like, whoa! Yeah. Like right here, he, like right he shoots there. him in the foot as he's running up on him, and he trips right and falls. There. Like that's sick. Yeah. Wait, did he trip on a bullet or he tripped on a, a piece of the, I don't know. I don't, I don't no, know. I, 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 it's like, I wish it's like it's how Doom for, yeah, it's like how Doom mm -hmm. did it. Doom did that as mm -hmm. well. 
mm -hmm. where um, if you shoot them kind of in oh, okay. a specific yeah. area, they'll take more damage there. Yep. Which is a good idea, um, I think. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, dude, it looks, uh, it looks pretty sick. Yeah, <laughs> just like it's revisiting an old friend. Yeah, it really does. Um, but I mean, I really feel like that's all I can take on, on the Halo thing besides the Halo. Like, it's going to be the Halo things and stuff. Um, and I guess I'm going to go uh, move on to Stage Decay 3. They didn't show anything for Stage Decay 3, really. It was just a cinematic video. Um, it looked really good. And yeah, it looks super I guess good, dude. <laughs> it looked crazy yeah, good. Yeah, it looked really good. Um, they did say that, like... Uh, yeah, they just say that, like, um, they're going to be having, like, new monsters, new, like, I guess, altered or inhuman monsters, whatever you want to call them, like, the cooler ones, and it's just going to make it harder. Like, I... I switch video to State of K3. I don't know. I'm trying, dude. This is all happening right now. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, it's really... Yeah, we have a delay, dude. Sorry. It's like, okay. we have a delay. We can't uh, be like, do this now. Like, it's... A, we have a delay. <laughs> we have the video. It's like a bunch of things going on. It's hard to <laughs> keep you ready. We're just trying to keep, like, a flow of things going or whatever, you know? Um, uh, I guess the, the video that's up like now is the uh, what is it? This is the this the is, Tell Me Why. Yeah, this is Tell Me Why. It's from this, Don't Nod. Yeah, it's really the graphics not that great. It's it really looks like it's gonna be some story type stuff. Yeah, don't, I don't know if you guys are familiar um, with Don't Nod, but they did Life is Strange, um, which is you know very story based. It's episodic as well. Yeah. So it'll be like go to this episode, finish it, wait next week for the for the yeah. new episode. So I mean. It's, it's, it just depends. Like, Don't Nod's also a smaller studio. They're like a double-A studio, I would say. So they don't have, mm -hmm. like, the tech and budget to really push if they wanted to. But, I don't know. Uh, I like, like story-based game. Looks like, not game looks like garbage. But, no, I mean, no. no. It's a, there's a lot of people that actually like this type of stuff. Where, you know, you can just pick what how the outcomes are. I don't know if it's an outcome-based thing or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I maybe you just play the story. It's an interactive story. Hmm. Might just be able to play like a different, like you know. <laughs> they should have made a phone game way. instead. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, uh, like the we're gonna talk about uh, Destiny Two. The, the DLC is basically just Destiny Two, just again. Um, then I wanted to talk about, I guess, Avowed and the Outer Worlds. First off, about Avowed, Outer Worlds, and like Obsidian. Well, I actually we'll get to that later. Uh, Forza Motorsports was the other one that came out. Uh, Forza <laughs> literally looks like Forza every every time. It's Forza. Like it looks sick every time. Every time they come out with a new one, I'm like, oh my god, this looks amazing. How can they get any better? Then they come out with a new one, I'm like, oh my god, this looks even more amazing. This How can they get any so better? Much better? And it just possible. looks beautiful every time. Uh, Warhammer 40,000. Um, have you ever played any of the Vermin? It's basically a Vermintide. Is what they're going for, but more of a general, like uh, a newer version of it. Like as in, like you use guns and stuff like that instead of like your axes, your hammers, and stuff like that. Um, so I'm thinking that's really cool. It's gonna have like a uh, Left 4 Dead type feel for it. Um, the other games seem like. Just a bunch of other games that they kind of want to like vomit it out to gator to people. Um, besides, about the uh, uh, yeah, well, yeah, that's how I'm gonna get into the, uh, the Obsidian games that they have. Uh, the Outer Worlds, uh, the Peril of Gorgon, um, that DLC is supposed to be another big DLC that's coming out for Outer Worlds. Uh, if you ever played Outer Worlds, it's like a Fallout type game. It's super fun. It's funny. It's super funny. If you've ever, you need to play it, guys. Like it's so funny. Like the 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 uh, I guess lines that you can say and line, the character lines oh and dialogue God, is just right like holy crap <laughs> that was amazing <laughs> yeah it's it's hilarious like I do I literally built I started to play the game like with a gun and stuff like that you know like you like I wouldn't fall out and then one of my friends is like bro I'm just gonna build a brute and he's just gonna have a hammer the whole game and I'm like that's a great idea let me do it I made my guy dumb you can you can literally make your guy dumb and if the more dumb he gets the more dumb dialogue lines he gets so I literally like blew up a factory like as an option i blew it up and like that this lady comes up to me the owner of the factory she's like oh my god why did you do that and one of the dialogue options was like i don't know i guess it's just like pressing buttons like, just, i was like dude what the, like just some of the dialogues is like great and like uh i don't I, you just have to play i don't want to like spoil everything but like you you gotta play it. like so and just make it or, or get this dlc oh for sure it's i'm for sure getting it yeah like that's gonna happen and i'll probably stream it too um, but that was an Obsidian game, and that's Obsidian's take on Fallout, I feel like. And they really, like, knocked it out of the park. A lot of people played it, and the fact that it was on Game Pass, definitely, like, a lot of people, like, took it and ran with it. And they played it, like, a decent amount. Like, I know, yeah. like, sick uh, DK has played it. I played Did it. Sick? Yeah. I played it for I don't know, a wait. Bit, but other things mm -hmm. came out, so, sorry. Mm -hmm. Like, I can come back to you anytime. <laughs> then, uh, then Avowed came out, or Avowed, uh, they showed the video for Avowed. Um... That was the other one that came. Uh, it was pretty sick. Uh, didn't show that much. It was just a cinematic, it seemed like. 
Then it looked like they showed a little bit of gameplay, like towards the end. I don't know if that's gameplay or not. That's I don't questionable. Think so. I don't think it is. Might not be. There's I'm leaning towards the no. I think in this show, but, um, overall. but I mean, you're just announcing mm-hmm. games, so it's different. You're not. You're yeah. Not gonna have stuff ready. Um. But yeah, Val, they did show that, and uh, I think that this is basically just gonna be their take, Obsidian take on um Elder Schools. Yeah, uh, they did knock out. I really feel like they did a good job with Outer Worlds versus you know the fallout thing so i really feel like they're trying to backpack off of basically everything that bethesda is doing and they're kind of doing do their own style <laughs> of it yeah they got a new competitor and i think that this might make bethesda step up their game if like a vowed takes off like, like this will be great um but yeah it, um then one of the other games i saw was everwild i knew i had a friend who just freaked out about it. it was like oh my god this is the greatest cartoonish like style looking game ever this is the cleanest thing it's sick uh, you need to play it, and I was like, it looks like you know a um, yeah, on the <laughs> it looks like a um, what do you call it? Uh, it looks like Breath of the Wild. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, Breath of the Wild type thing. It looks, it looks like, like it's Breath be, of the like... Wild. You guys should definitely mm-hmm. check this out. Um, yeah, it looks really cool. Um, mm. here. Uh, yeah, but that when it's oh god, it's sick. It looks sick. Uh, they did, and then also one other thing that they showed was the you know Fable clip. It was just a cinematic. And I, that's really all I needed for so many other people to just freak out. Um, I think that about sums it up for like all the games really that like kind of showed. Besides Battle Royale Tetris, <laughs> Battle Royale like, Tetris. That's I true. literally that think it's Battle Royale Tetris come to um, Xbox, and it will be coming um, to other systems, but Xbox first. But they did uh, they did talk like more about their little X Cloud thing, saying like all the games are going to be on the X Cloud. They should talked a little bit more how like it's going to work, and like you can you know play your games on your phones and shit like and, like that, you know. Um, but even at the end of the show, like, after all of it, like, you know, it was over, uh, the Xbox, uh, one of the Xbox devs is, like, said, you know, straight up, like, so, like, this is the quote, so Game Pass members, you can play every game you see today from your subscriptions, or free to play, like, which is nuts, like, I think that's crazy, like, that they're just, they're really going all in with the Game Pass. Yeah, I think, um, it's really, I think it's a really good idea, and I think it's something they kind of have to do to kind of get people back or just new people to come into the Xbox ecosystem in general. Um, yeah, for sure. I like it. I like Game Pass a lot. I use it. Mm. Um, I think it's just well yeah. worth the money just because of exclusives in general. You pay, for, you, you get mm. Ori and then you get Halo. That's 120 yeah. bucks. That's more than I paid for Game Pass and I get everything you, else. So it's, yeah, it's, exactly. It's a wild yeah. Like game. one of my friends, yeah, one of my friends, um, did the math and he told me about it and he's like yo if you just get like a year's worth of subscription for game pass like you get as many games as you want and like if you think about it for the price that's like three playstation games like so that's crazy like yeah if you do like the math yeah it's like you get three playstation games for the same price you can get like a year's worth of uh, subscription i mean but then you can do like those deals that they do all the time where it's like pay a dollar and you get a month like three months worth or you get like Three months of a dollar's worth of like um game pass and stuff like that and then also you get like you know the games at gold where they just give you free games over the weekend and stuff like that which i think is sick do you think when they launch the series x the next generation console they'll have like a bundle be like hey get this like tiers of like you can get this with three months of game pass oh crap or you can get this with uh with uh, uh like 12 months of game pass like I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think there's really, like, a reason to do that, because a lot of people already have the Game Pass. A lot of, like, recurring users already have the Game Pass, and, like, a lot of, like, like, uh, PC users already have Game Pass. And, like, some people, like me, have Game Pass subscriptions already from, like, um, from, like, I have it until, like, 2021. Yeah, I think. <laughs> and I bought that, like, a year ago, and I was, like, and the fact that you can prepay it's just, like, sick, too, I think. Is it. Um, but yeah, I mean that's that's something I'm gonna. Like, any other thoughts on it? <laughs> oh, busy. But uh, yeah, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, I think. Do you think PlayStation will come out with something like Game Pass? Or they have PS Now. That's really not. It's really not great. I don't know. Opinion. I don't think it's very good. I don't think it's gonna. Because what are they gonna do with it? They're gonna put their exclusives on there. At that point, no, like nobody's. I don't, nobody's, so. I don't know. They won't do that. I I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think so. But I think I'd be very shocked yeah. if that happened. Very, very I don't shocked. Think I think that they're just going to crank more money into their quality of the games that they produce. 
which so. is a really good yeah which it's i mean obviously it's it's showing like you see goes to Tsushima, you see like the last of us like last of us dusted everything that just came out and they also haven't even put it on the new console yet like so i like i still have yet to see any game come close to that like at the last of us 2 thing and yeah, i didn't even see it in 4k like, I saw it in, like I saw it in like 1080. I saw it in like 2K too. And like I'm still, but like I think they're just gonna continue to bust out into the graphics, and they're gonna continue to talk about like, you know, um, more storyline type stuff rather than these are more like arcade style games that they've been coming out with on Xbox for in Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, like this you one know? right here, like like Psychonauts too. Like I don't know if you guys. Like, yeah, like this. Yeah, but it's this it's Psychonauts. kind of like their their Ratchet and Clank, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like kind of that style of game. <laughs> Actually, what I, call, I called it that too. I was like, this literally looks like a Ratchet and Clank type thing. Like, what is this <laughs> game? It really does. Um, but yeah, uh, of yeah, basically, uh, yeah, I do have to agree. Like, yeah, it's kind of like they do get Sony does do their own thing. I feel like they are gonna continue to do their own thing. Uh, with you guys, they're, they're kind of just play their own games. I mean, um, they kind of agree with them. Winning, so whatever they want to yeah. do. But Xbox yeah, they can will really eat them up soon. I think. I think they will close that gap pretty quickly. Cause they I do think. Have well, I don't think they're gonna. About. I don't. I don't think they're gonna like close like a gap between each other. I think they're going down different different paths now. Like until like Sony comes up with their own cloud thing, like then Xbox is gonna generate towards more towards the cloud type stuff, like X Cloud type stuff. Like they're gonna want like uh to have more playing with friends. Like they want them to. I feel like play with friends more. You know. Like, because they have the Game Pass on the PC, and then they have the X Cloud now. Like, so I think they're gonna try and like generate more towards getting more of everyone to play with each other, rather than like, I guess, sell out on like the console, like the consoles and the games themselves. They're more towards like software, I guess, not software, but like, like services. Yeah, services. software. I don't know. I think they're gonna go down different paths, but it's still, they're still gonna be both the consoles. And I think consoles wise. PCs, their PlayStation is gonna dust it, dust like Xbox, but like uh, Xbox is gonna have more like you know Game Pass generated stuff, which literally like like this whole event, like everything was on Game Pass, everything came with Game Pass, everything you know you got early releases on Game Pass, like you got new DLCs for free on Game Pass, like it was just, they really I feel like are generating towards more Game Pass, and they know that they're getting away with it. Yeah, like they, they just, know that they're getting away with it and it's selling. They just need higher quality games. They just need the bangers. That's it. That's all well, they need. If they I, have that, they'll they'll kill everything it, in their path. Oh well, yeah. Now you say that. Yeah, that, I mean that. I agree and disagree with that because like games like Grounded, I think was the other game that they showed. Mm-hmm. That game looked sick, and it wasn't a high quality game. It wasn't like a triple A game, but that looks like so much fun. Like it, like it's an arcade type game again. Like I'm saying, mm-hmm. like I think they're generating towards more arcade games. It's not going to be like a serious storytelling thing you just go in there and you have fun like that looks sick to me i know i have a friend who plays it a lot too or played it a, like a lot of the demo and like dude it looked like, i was watching him play it i'm like dude this looks like a lot of fun like this looks like genuine fun that you can troll with your friends and like even i uh i remember like <laughs> i had wrote down a quote somewhere whatever but like the the trailer that they showed for it was like one of the funniest trailers that they had the entire time like, it was just like the trailer started with like you know they're like the guy has a deep voice like if you're waiting for the best game of the year like, then, like, it shows more gameplay, and it's like, then wait for Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, and, yeah like, they, they very much and, know what yeah. they're doing, I think, in... And, and, like, but if you're ready for the smallest game of the year, then come look no further. And, like, it's just... And, like, it's the... Under the grounded game is, called, is like, you know, it's set as them, you know, building stuff as a sandbox game. You know, you cut off grass, and you make bases and stuff like that. You fight ants and stuff like that. You're literally tiny people. Tiny, I shrunk the kids. Like, I think we talked about this before. Um, but yeah, like, it, it, it's, it's really funny. I think it's really cool. I think that's a Bethesda game as well. Or not Bethesda, Obsidian game that they came out with. So yeah, it looks really cool. It looks like a lot of fun. And like, I, I really think that that's, yeah. Like, they don't, I feel like they don't have to be hardcore, like, bangers and hardcore graphics and, like, storytelling in order to entice everyone. Um, I think they're going for more towards arcade people, which it's definitely showing with, like, the, the Xbox Game Pass and stuff. Um... Dcast has, uh, has a point in the chat. He says they have bangers Xbox, but they just prefer not to have games. They only play on their console, rather play with everyone. So it's you know, yeah, that makes sense. Console basically, it's just two different strategies, yeah. really. Sony's like, hey, you gotta, you want our stuff? Buy our hardware. Xbox is like, you know yeah. what? 
you, you can play it on whatever pretty much you want, as long as it's in the Xbox mm-hmm. ecosystem. That's why they're supporting uh, all their new games, like, for two years after, at least, um, for yep. Xbox One. That's why, like, Halo Infinite, you can play it on Xbox One. You don't need Xbox Series X. I mean, they'll always say, yeah. like, optimize for Series X, or, like, best played on Series mm-hmm. X. Sure, I'm sure it is, because that's how PCs work. It's scalable up and down the line. So it's just different strategies, yeah. really, and I'm interested yeah. to really see who who comes out on top here. Yeah, um, and also, like, a really, yeah, the Sony games are literally just, like, movies. Do you want to play? Do you want to play a movie? Like, then you play I mean, the Sony games. That's it. Like, depends on and also, one last bet. Uh, before, like, we switch over to the next topic, I do want to say one more thing about the Xbox Series X, and it's totally a bash on them. Um, their mm-hmm. Xbox Series X symbol thing that they have on their con, because they, they released their... Uh, their game cases, like after you know PS4 did, and they, do have, they have the uh, box art out. Uh, yeah, they did. They released it like uh oh, two weeks up. after or a week after they did, but it wasn't like that high because it was literally it looks like you know the same. The only thing is they slapped on this huge sticker where it says Xbox Series X. It's like so freaking huge. It's crowded, dude. Let me see if I can find it's, a picture of it. I don't know how to explain it. It's like it's way too big. It's like why 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 do you need this to be this large? Like we get it. It's an Xbox Series X. Cop. Ah. Is this it? I'm gonna see. Keep going. I'll uh, see if I can find a picture of it. Um. It. I guess we're gonna go. Uh. Well, I mean, we gotta move on to. I think it's other like little bits that we have. Uh. The Metacritic has released the has a new message for submitting, uh, user reviews in light of the the Last of Us Two situation. They said, please send, uh, please spend some time playing the game. Come back to the reviewed, uh, come back to review it starting at 12 p.m. Um, I guess uh, Pacific on July 18th. Uh, this move, I guess, I don't know. I feel like a I'm lot totally of in favor of this. You're in favor of it? Oh yeah, dude. How can, how the hell can you post a review score, a user score, the day the game comes out? That's impossible. <laughs> um. I don't know, because I kind of like, I can tell you that I don't like a game when I started playing, like, oh, what was it? Fallout. When I started playing Fallout, I was like, I already don't like this game. I don't like it. And, like, I was done with it, but then I kept trying to play it. I forced myself to play it more, and I was like, I hate this game. This game's dumb. Why am I putting myself through this? I tried it again, I tried it again, and I was like, I really don't like it. So then that's when I was like, I'm done playing it. I'm not going to play it anymore. Um, But I do know, like, I think I even said it... I don't know if you were on the podcast for it, but, like, there was, like, a lot of, like, streamers, big-name streamers got the game early. Like, they got to play it early. And, like, they had, like, 30, 40,000 people yeah, but those watching 30, their stream. 30, 40,000 people shouldn't be posting user review scores. They haven't played the game. They're just watching it. In, That's not the same. Yeah, I mean, but, like, when it comes to, like, a storytelling game like this, where it's, like, storytelling, like, no. then, like, and you... That's how you play... Like, that's how you want to play the game. Unless it's, like, a Call of Duty game. Like, you no, know, where it's, like... I disagree. <laughs> You have to play, I the, I think, play the game. Like you have to feel the mechanics and and see how they work and be like, oh, this is what it wants me to do. This is why I'm doing this. Mm-hmm. Not like, oh, I'm gonna watch someone else play it. Like I don't. Yeah. I don't like that. I mean, that's my take. I guess so. That's yeah. I can I can see that take on it. Yeah, that's good. I only agree with that. But then I agree with that take too. But then again, I guess I do like think with some sort to some games. You can, I feel like, just pass judgment on it. If you don't want to even play the game, like people like me, I'm not going to play the game, and I want to like just watch it because okay. I can't play the game. Don't post a review score because you that's true. Yeah, that's true too. Like, also, I feel like you shouldn't be able to post a review unless you have a copy of the game. You should have a code. <laughs> have a code. How would they that, do like, that though? That'd be so. Just like link your account to Metacritic, I guess that would be. Yeah, that might be a better move for it. Hmm. But I don't I know. People would like that though. But I do know that when the game came out, a lot of people returned it. Like, a lot of people, like, straight were, like, after halfway through it, they were like, we're done. I don't want to play this game anymore. And they returned, like, so many. And I had a friend who lives in Georgia? And he had the... He played the game. He didn't like it halfway through. And when he went to go return it to uh, GameStop, he said that they weren't accepting games, uh, the games anymore. They're like, And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, we have too many returns. Like, we're not accepting anymore. <laughs> what <laughs> no, he, yeah and so that he says this is the first time he's ever heard it he's like he hate like he played it the day it came out and That's yeah i guess weird. like weird yeah he played it the day it came out then the next day he played a little bit more and then that day he's like i'm done i just want my money back i'll take whatever i can get and he got like 
uh, they said they weren't taking it back. He's like, all right, whatever. So he still has it. And he waited, I guess, like another week or two. And then they said that they would accept it. And they took it back then. Uh, I but, mean, um, that's really crappy. I didn't think uh, that would happen or that GameStop mm-hmm. would do that. But, I mean, GameStop is yeah. making money. So that's what the box art for the Series X looks like. Yeah, Look box at that fat there. sticker, dude. It's obnoxious. Crowded, dude. It's crowded. Dude. Dude, let's let's look at this mathematically, okay? This is taking up at least eight percent of the cover. <laughs> like eight percent. <8%. laughs> Dude. Like yeah, look at this Can... giant sticker right here. Look, do you see what I'm saying? Like I hate it. I hate it. Like I get it. It's Xbox Series X. Holy crap. Dude. I really hope that they get rid of this soon. Like this is too much. But like, like it's just having this. Like, this is the problem right here. This is why. If Xbox One wasn't here, they wouldn't have this sticker. Because they wouldn't have to say this. It would just be Series X. Kind of like how PS5 is. Uh, dude. I guess it would be like this. I, I can't. I don't know. I was, I, I, dude, that's so weird. I don't I don't know why they did all that stuff. Man. It's, it's dude. Oh, man. If we're going to get into box art, i got to show you guys this. This is terrible. Keep going, though. I'll find it. But man, this looks um, bad. This looks okay. Really so there's the uh, the Metacritic thing that we were talking about. Yeah. All right. It's so it's a eh. um, when it looks like my height. I don't know what you're talking about with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I uh, oh, this was one of the other fantasy games that they had that came out. It looks iffy. Eh. It looks fantasy, like it's Fantasy I'm Star pre- Online too, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I did play. Game. I downloaded the one and I made a character and everything. Never played it. <laughs> I went through all the character customization, picked a class, you know, picked my weapon and everything, got out into the world, saw the world, and I was like, all right, I'm going to go for a minute, and then I never played it again. And I was like, dude, what? Okay. Uh, and I just deleted it. But anyways, um, uh, further news on, like, a topic that we discussed last week about the military esports team. Guys, you're going to love this. I really hope Zig comes back for this one. I don't know where Zig is. Um, but, dude, so AOC, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez, uh, introduced measures to stop the military esports um, and Twitch streamings uh, for, from recruiting on Twitch. Like, dude, it was a problem. Like, we talked about it last week. We were, like, one of the first people to talk about it, like, in, in all news. Like, we were one of the first people because, like, it was an issue. Like, that's that they were just, get, like, man. false that's recruiting. What you, that's what you get when you come here. You get dude, yeah, and, like, it's, yeah, it's, dude, it's, I totally agree. I, like, I think they should stop. I don't know if they should, like, take that big of precautions i don't know taking it but they took it to um uh well i'm just gonna go to continue here it's, it's uh she has a quote uh from her presenting her um from her presenting it to i guess to the uh one of the house uh, up for appeals uh she said it's uh, incredibly irresponsible for the army and navy to be recruiting um Im- impressionable young people and children via live stream platforms um she plans to file for a measure that would prevent the military from using video games and esports uh, as a military recruitment tool, which I kind of agree with. It is kind of like annoying, like and or I guess for them to just do it right. Like I get that she's like bringing it up and everything. Like she's bringing it to like you know a higher power because it is like messed up and it is like the U.S. that's doing this and like they are like doing it in a shady, shady way. I think it but, is um, very shady. I agree. Yeah, and like. They're doing it with, and I guess the, they're supposed to meet on the 27th to review it, basically, um, to uh, see what they're going to target about it. Because I guess she said that they shouldn't spend any money on any Twitch. She said she wanted no money, no funds or anything to go into Twitch streaming, to go into uh, esports or anything. Like, doesn't want any more money to go into it, which I kind of agree with, I don't agree with. Um, I think they should make a team and stuff like that. That'd be really cool, like they do in colleges, like they like yeah, do in yeah, college football, seen, college basketball just and stuff. Just how anybody else would have a team yeah like, you know you have a chess like it, team, I, right why can't you have an esports team like yeah i think i thing. agree with that i think yeah i think they should do that but like i don't think that they should be like streaming and like advertising on there they don't, i don't think there should be any advertising on there because you don't see that on when you play when they play football games unless it's like a commercial but those are commercials you know so i could see them wanting to put twitch put money on twitch for commercials which they do already i think but I don't think anything else. I don't think they should have giveaways and stuff like that like they've been doing. Um, uh, yeah, I agree. I think um, it should just be, hey, like, you should... It should just be how any other sport would recruit. Like, it's literally the same thing. It should just yeah. be that. Dude, uh, yeah. But, um, 
I don't know, it'd be, but I mean, it's gotten, it's gotten, uh, it's going to like, I guess, it's going to a bigger, higher power for this one, for this issue. Um, but I do have another thing too. Uh, I posted it in the Discord. I posted it on Twitter too. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it, but it's the gamer girl that came that they announced last week. Did you see the video uh, that I showed of it? <laughs> Did you see uh, the, did video? I see the video? Like, no, I don't think I yeah. saw the video. But I have the Dude, picture. it is it is like it's really controversial and it's really weird. Everyone's like, what is going on? Everyone's like cringe factor ten thousand. Like everyone's like really weird. It's uh I have no idea what the heck their theme or the style of the game that it's going for right now. This is a completely new type of thing, it's a whole new take for it. Uh it's, I have no idea yeah, what it is. That's like her. what it's that's it going for. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the this is the video, and I guess the the thing for it, like the the cover, is supposed to be. That's the picture. So, this is the cover, or like the advertising. Yeah, I guess this is the the cover for like the the thing that they're trying to do. So, from what I got, you this girl is a streamer. She's a gamer streamer, and she streams on a, a platform, whatever, you know. And you are a moderator in her chat, and you're basically like her manager. Like you're like in charge of her like kind of so she has like people who come in and like you know say provocative things you know like ask for like feet pics whatever you know people do and like switch chats <laughs> and stuff like that okay and like you have to like you know delete their things and ban them and stuff like that from like her twitch thing and then she goes on like and like uh i guess has boyfriend issues and you have to help her with her boyfriend issues and stuff it's just so weird and i guess like you help then it turns into more than just a gamer girl thing and like it's more of like she's out in the world and you help her make decisions out in the world i don't know it's so it sounds like weird it sounds like she's gamifying her life yeah basically it, like you're i don't know it's like real life sims but as like streamers i don't know it's really weird but like the video like uh towards the end looks like more of a horror like thing too so at first it looks like it's like you're oh you're just a twitch moderator and then it goes into you're like her manager next thing you know you're in charge of her life like so it's really weird um and everyone is like what the hell is this is this real like a lot of people still don't think it's real i still don't think it's real i think it's like a troll but it's supposed to be coming out on xbox and playstation so yeah <laughs> it's, okay. it's supposed to be legit like, like this is so weird <laughs> yeah like i don't dude this has got to be the weirdest thing i don't know what they're going for here i've never seen it um but yeah, That's really uh, strange. I would not. Guys, uh, I had to, I had I had to take. Um, I'm sorry that I, I stepped out for a moment, but I got I had to take a phone call, and now I got to address mm-hmm. something. So, I have to hop off for this week. I will. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll catch up with you guys, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, next week. Okay. All right. No problem. I see, ya. see ya. Right, see ya. See uh, ya. This will be interesting. <laughs> Let me adjust this Uh-oh. literally on the fly. <laughs> all right uh, uh all right well, we were almost done anyways um i guess one of the last things that happened uh i guess is logic i don't know if you get logic the rapper in case you guys don't know he raps it's a guy it's a, dude. <laughs> it's a guy um it's a guy it's a dude he's uh, his name is logic uh he knows he's signing uh exclusively out to twitch um he's signed exclusively to twitch and says that uh his deal's worth seven figures which i'm not sure how long the contract is i didn't look that far into it um, but he does have a contract with Twitch, so he's... I don't know what he's planning on doing there. I don't know if he's just going to be playing games or anything. Um, but Maybe I do know both. that he has... Maybe he'll do both. Maybe he'll be like, oh, I'm going to play games, like, on these days, and then on these days Dude. I'll, like, mix music live or something. I really... Yeah, like, honestly, I really hope he just, like, goes into, like, COD games, Fortnite games, and just raps, freestyles. Like, I would, I would watch that. I would watch him freestyle on some kids, you know, in Fortnite and in, like, COD. Like, that'd be hilarious. As he's um, just, like, headshotting them. Just, like, make it lyrics. Yeah, exactly. Like, dude, like, he busts, crazy <laughs> busts out a double. <laughs> busts out a double and starts rapping about doubles. Like, oh, yeah, I get doubles on the... Like, it just... Dude, that'd be hilarious. But... <laughs> I'd watch that. I'd watch that. Yeah. Um, but I do know that he just came out with an album. And I guess he rapped the whole album, like, last night. Rapped most of the album. So it was, like, a little concert last night. Okay. Um, that cool. happened. Uh, Twitch even, like, sent a huge invite to everyone on Twitch. So they try to really bring some, some stuff to it. I guess. So they're really trying to Twitch is really trying to make it more of a TV thing. Um, I guess uh, Ashes of the Creation came out with another video, uh, and one of the top I guess like uh, what would you say like uh, pay people to help like endorse it or whatever um, came like out with influencers. it. Influencers. Um, yeah, I guess not. He's like like a backer. I guess he backing like the thing like that much. He came out with another huge video for it. 
and um, it's supposed to be like like it's an upcoming MMORPG. Okay. Uh, so it's gonna be like a WoW, and like I watched the video a lot. Like watch it, it was a real long video. I watched it like twice. Um, I said to some of my friends who love MMOs and love like MMORPGs, and it looks like too good to be true. Like it looks like it's gonna be one of the biggest games ever. Um, there's a huge backstory behind it. Like I don't know if I want to get into it, but like uh, for the rough summary, yeah, right rough summary of it, uh, one a billionaire, a millionaire basically paid for like the whole thing, like and that sketch. Like most of the people have Super backers, sketch, most people have dude. like companies. <laughs> yeah, most people have companies, but a lot of people who are working on the project are people from like big games, like that do MMOs like type stuff. Planet Side Two, uh, BDO, Black Black Desert Online. Um, and a couple of, like, everyone that's, you know, played a bunch of MMOs. Like, and apparently the story goes that this guy who paid, the millionaire that paid for this entire thing, plays a lot of MMOs, love MMOs, and he's like, you know what, I'm gonna make my own, here's all this money for it, let's work together, guys. And he has a bunch of friends who are, like, the devs, designers, stuff like that, and they all got together and they're working on this. And, like, I guess a bunch of the big name streamers, a bunch of the biggest heavyweights, like Summit, 1G, um, Shroud, and, and someone else that I can't remember are all on this, and they're like, dude, this is gonna be one of the most exciting games of the year and are one of the most exciting uh mmorpgs in years so i mean it's gonna be like does it have it's a supposed date to be super hype window what does it have a release date or a release window that's what they don't know that's why it's sketch because it has stuff like it, it doesn't have a release window they're supposed to be going for 2021 it's like but it right? will come out eventually yeah, maybe it, <laughs> that's it. yeah that's exactly what people are afraid of they're like it might be like a star citizen type shit like so i mean you never know um but so many people are backing it it's, it looks amazing if you guys haven't seen it you guys need to watch it it looks like sick um then uh also uh i think yesterday was uh yeah they took um mixer officially got taken behind the barn and asked to look at some flowers <laughs> and they put it out of its misery there's no more streams on mix and mix is done it's done it's official it's the last day yeah the ghost town dude there is no one that on. was it that's it uh that's crazy they're actually on xbox or facebook what if you just type so, in what if you type in mixer in the address bar it just brings you to twitch like, it's, <laughs> it's like right. we're just twitched out <laughs> right <laughs> uh rocket league is going for uh, free to play this summer after its summer release dates or after its summer updates um yeah i mean it's supposed to have a cross play which i don't know why they didn't do it in the first place because well, it, it has, seems like that type of game it has cross play like that. but it has cross progression now oh cross progression okay all right cool all right even better um yeah, nintendo so had a small i'm, pretty, I'm excited oh. about that i think um that's the perfect game to go free to play. Perfect. It really is. It really is. Um, it definitely has. It's. It's definitely a good game. It's a good quality game for what it is. Speaking of um, something that isn't quality, is oh man, you gotta see this. This is the cover for FIFA 21. It is the worst cover I've ever seen. Let me see if I could uh, pull it up. Oh, there it is. That's what it looks like. It looks like terrible oh, oh yeah i saw people it's didn't like, like a big it. image and then there's like a smaller image it, it, it's yeah. like a collage dude. it looks it dude, even espn was reporting on this it's like this is horrible like this yeah is i don't get really why dude bad. on and then ea what ea sports is so weird they're the weirdest company i've ever seen they have so much money they have a huge fan base that a diehard fan base that will bleed ea sports and like i also just saw the other day that they did come out with the um well, so they, for some reason, being on the cover of, like, you know, those games is, like, the biggest blessing in the world. And I feel like that should be it. Like, that should yeah. be it. Like, they should, you know, you should be on there. Like, you should be on the cover. You get, like, the, yeah, they give you a little bit of money or whatever. And, like, they, you know, do the photo shoot. And you get your own name out there even more as a sports player. So you get, like, you know, more of your jerseys bought. You get, like, more of your, like, you know, you, True. you get hyped. It's, like, it should be that. But what they also do is they give you a crap ton of money. Then they give you, they gave the last person, I can't remember who it was, um, God, for, for, uh, basketball, uh, the basketball, I can't remember who was for on cover. 2K21? Uh, yeah. It's then they gave him, it's who? It's Zion Williamson. Okay, yeah, so they had, they came to his house, they gave him this huge box, they gave him, like, a letter, they gave him, like, a penance and stuff like that, they gave him, like, a bunch of little things, then they gave him, like, a check. For playing again, for being on there, then they gave him this thick, huge, like basketball, like EA Sports, like metal, like gold, all solid gold, diamonds all over. Like this had to have been like a, a ten thousand dollar, like, <laughs> like a uh, necklace. It was n insane. And it's like, dude, why did you just give all this money that all these people spend on this game 
and you're gonna give it just to some dude like you're spending all your money to this like on this like instead of like dude like how are you why, why are you spending your money on that you should spend it on i don't know the game just saying yeah <laughs> like exactly. you get your revenue from like the game it should go back into the game rather than on some dude like dude like this guy's obviously making millions himself and they, like i watched the video like the reveal to him and he just was just like oh cool sick <laughs> cool awesome. like what nice dude? chain are you, how are you not like, yeah freaking out about he this? literally yeah, he literally said this is gonna be one of my other chains, like one of my like other like you know, cool chains that I have. It's like, dude, he has other chains like this. <laughs> like, do you think he's gonna wear this? Like, no, it's just gonna sit there. He probably took Stop. it and was like, all right, I'll just like put it, I'll just throw it in my closet with all my other stuff I never wear. Yeah, let me let me put it on my like second filing cabinet of jewelry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it looks anyways, like I guess it looks terrible. This one looks way better. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's just so much better. Except for the yeah, fat ass sticker over here. <laughs> chat um uh anyways moving forward uh nintendo had a small direct uh on monday and really did not have anything exciting it wasn't um, good, exciting it was, was 10 was... minutes it was 10 minutes it was it showed nothing <laughs> really it was terrible it was really terrible actually to be honest um we should probably <laughs> skip around here to get to like the last stuff because sure, i do sure. want to have okay, it going a little sure, long sure. so choose whatever you okay. want to to do um i guess we can tell uh, i know if anyone's ever played title goose game uh untitled goose game that's gonna be getting physical copies for playstation oh really? um, nice that's good yes i like to see that it, dude it's that that's a funny game if you guys have ever you guys if you guys have not played it you need to play it um world wars he got a new update they got a bunch of new stuff on there um it's gonna be cross play with consoles and pc finally thank nice. god that's it's one of those good, those good is one of those games um I guess uh really really good to see that actually especially when you see an indie game like get physical copies that means like it's successful enough to do that so that's good to see i like that um and i guess uh ghost of Tsushima did do pretty good in sales but uh i don't think they toppled anywhere close to like last of us no. did they like no. uh, ghost of Tsushima sells uh 2.4 million in the last three days i think they sold more i think didn't last of um us did four yeah didn't it do like yeah, didn't it do that in one day? No. Like, I, I think, think it did, it did like, two million in one day. Three days. Oh, yeah, well, anyways, yeah, so, I mean, yeah. Yeah, because, like, Last of Us 2 did four million in the first three days. Like, God of War, 3.1, Spider-Man, 3.3. It's like, wow. Mm. <laughs> it's really, uh, yeah. it's up there. All right. And uh, PS5 pre-orders uh, could be limited to one per household using PlayStation websites. Uh, uh, people are going to find it. I think that's really good. I think it's a good attempt, but I think people are going to con their way around it. Yeah, I think like, they'll just go to Target. <laughs> I'm like, I'll just go to yeah. order six. Like, okay, I'll just go yeah, to Target, exactly. whatever. Like, yeah, they're, they're trying to make it sure that it goes to, like, the right people. I get it, but I still feel like people are going to try and con their way around it. Oh, yeah, dude. Um, it's especially if it'll be... It's not going to be limited supply, per se, but, like, if you really want one, you're, you'll are you get taken advantage of, for sure. Yeah, if, you'll, extra, if you, so. yeah, if you want one, you'll get it. But it's yeah. not going to work. Um, I thought they were, I don't know, I, I'm just waiting to see the pre-order things going up. Jeez. I know, I thought um, it was August. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, PS9 Summer Sale is now live. Uh, it's going to end on the 20th of August. So, uh, of course, you got to get those games. Yeah, there's, um, there's some good ones on there. Like, Control's on there, Borderlands on there, like, Out of Worlds. There's some good ones. Mm -hmm. So, check it out. Definitely check it out. Yeah. Uh, the first DLC for uh, Neo 2. It's going to yeah. be released next week on the 29th. Yeah, that comes out next week. Mm -hmm. That's going to be so freaking hard to go back to. Because I'm playing Ghost of Tsushima and it's like so different, dude. Like, it's so different. Because, like, you change stances in both games, but the stance change mm -hmm. button is not the same. So And the dodge yeah. button is not the same. So it's going to uh, take a little bit to get used to. Uh -huh. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I guess that's... Uh, and I guess, yeah, they revealed the fable. I mean, I really hope that they do something with that i really hope it takes off yeah the, there is a rumor actually that the fable game that was revealed and teased is is kind of rumored to be more on the mmo side than a reboot of fable itself what do you think about mm -hmm. that you think that's a good idea i don't know yeah i did see it's not a fable it's not fable 4 or it's no, not fable it's not. yeah they just call it fable i don't know um i really feel like since it's been so long since the last fable came out that it really is it should be like a no a new uh reboot thing and i did if you played the last fable they basically did just destroy the whole world um <laughs> I, well, I didn't uh, i didn't play it so was it just like a yeah meteor? just like no psh, dead. It, it's more like 
uh, this thing, this goo stuff. Uh, I don't know. You the way it was is you had not you had an option basically save the world or not save save the world, kind of save the world. I don't know, but basically the world goes through a lot of, of things and <laughs> it kind of gets destroyed. There's like a, a 60 40 chance that it's going to get destroyed uh, unless you play the game right and unless you like want to you know play the game like uh to save the world or whatever and you really go hardcore out of your way to save the entire world and save everything but uh yeah it's so and i mean case, i can I see like how the they... would be good so you can kind of create mm-hmm. your own story yeah but uh yeah also yeah dk has also oh my god i totally forgot destroy all humans probably came out i don't know if is that it, came out is today. It today dude oh my god i'm looking it up right now just to see jesus we're so bad. I haven't Holy played that crap. game. I have not played the original. Dude, I'm just gonna play it, crank it out, I think and it's just next, do it. I think it's next week. It says July 28th. Okay, yeah, at least July 20th. Yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, July 28th. So it's gonna that's be four days. Yeah. yeah, four. Okay, not yet. Holy crap! Yeah, no, it's coming out on Steam. I'm gonna play that on Steam for sure. For sure, it's too funny. It's a funny game. But um, yeah, I think uh, that's about it. Any- Anything else you might want to talk about? Anything else cool you see on gaming wise, or you're expecting? Uh, I am excited to see what you know what PlayStation does after this, and then what Xbox does after that. So I'm excited to see um, like how they kind of counter each other uh, with this. Do you think? Do you think that Xbox is gonna be cheaper than PS5? Do you think the Series X will be cheaper? Dude, I don't know. I saw the Amazon leak. Um for the PlayStation, and I really think that that's the right price. It's like 250, uh, the Australian one? digital edition, or something like Wait. that, right? Two fifty. No, I don't think they did the digital. I think it was like the cased one or the uh, uh, disc one, and I think it was like five fifty or something like that. Interesting. Five fifty. Five fifty. Four fifty. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but I think. I don't know. I don't know. I really. I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't but I'll tell you what, this uh, the Xbox showcase makes me really want to lean towards the Xbox again. Well, that's good. That's, like, that's the whole the whole point of yeah, it. Yeah, and right, they also it? did at the end of it, and they're like, all right, and we've got more games to show you. We have another showcase that's coming out later. I'm like, what? Is it enough to draw you away from Miles Morales? I don't. Yeah, that's honestly what I thought about. I looked at like the date release for like State of Decay, and I was like. Let me look at the date the date release for State of Decay. Let me see like the release date or release date for uh, Miles Morales. Let me see if they're like which one's gonna come out first. And I think I'm still leaning towards the PlayStation. Like for I'm for sure still I'm for sure leaning towards the PlayStation because like Miles Morales is gonna come out first. But then like and I have Game Pass on my PC and I have the old Xbox which still is gonna have Game Pass so yep. I can play all the other games. Yep. But it's just not gonna be high quality. You know, 120 but or 100. But you'll be fine. Yeah, I do. Yeah, but um. The PC Game Pass and uh, Xbox Game Pass are a little bit different, so it's it's iffy. Eh, but I'm really leaning towards the PlayStation instead uh, for that. But I we'll don't see. think, I don't know. I think the disc list is just gonna sell way more, too. I think it is, cause like not that many people. I don't know. I it, don't know. It also depends if COVID is still is still like going around at that time. People are still don't want to go out in stores, so they would rather yeah. get the digital edition. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I don't have anything else to to talk about, really. Yeah. No. I think that's about it. Um. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for stopping by, everyone. Click like buttons. Click the follow buttons if you haven't clicked the follow button. I saw there was a lot of people in here. Yes. I see you. You can't run. <laughs> Hit the follow. Can't hide from Twitch's uh, uh, algorithm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we stream this every day or every Friday. I mean, at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard. Um, yeah, click the subscribe, click the like buttons and stuff like that. You can find us on Apple iTunes, Google Play, uh, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, Alexa. Um, and, of course, you know, check out our website at fpsguides.com. Uh, check out, you know, our Discords, or all our social medias, you know, Twitter, Instagram. We're all over the place. Um, but most importantly, go on our Discord because re- I feel like most of us do talk on the Discord the most. And we do have the dope memes on there that we just crank out. And we have some pretty good discussions on there that we really don't talk about on here all the time. And, um, yeah, we we usually talk about some of the stuff that we do talk about on here earlier on there. And you can get more people uh, on there to talk about it as well. But uh, it's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, so thanks for popping in. Um, and I guess we'll see you next Friday. Yeah, thanks for the thanks for the 
constructive criticism during the stream. We'll uh, oh, yeah, work for sure. on that. Um, yep. We'll see what we can do. Maybe get like separate videos and, and do it that way. We'll mm -hmm. see. We'll work on it. Yep. Yep. All right. Thanks, everyone. Deuces. All right. See you guys later. Play games. Remember, play those games. Peace. Oh, yeah. Play games.